Kachina dolls represent the good spirits that act as go-betweens from man to God in the Hopi Nation. Okay, we're back. If you guessed the troll and Columbus were not important to solving the case, you've been paying attention. Both these holy people received clues from Carmen, and that's important. Okay, let's try one more time. She said I'm off to steal the sun. What could that mean? Player, cross-reference Native Americans with sun. To a member of the Crow tribe, a vision of the sun foretold great power as a shaman. But a short life. And some ancient cultures left mysterious large circular patterns of stone called medicine wheels, which, like Stonehenge, were oriented toward the sun. Oh, and the Great Plains people hold an annual Sundance Festival. Isn't that a celebration where many nations and their leaders gather to pray each year? Yes, the Sundance Festival. And you know what's going on right now up in the Black Hills. And with all those people coming together, there's sure to be more than a few shamans, which seems to be Carmen's main focus. Then, player, seat by bus to the Sundance Festival in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Carmen's trail is heating up. Wagons north, Cayutes! You're heading from the cliff dwellings of Mesa Verde, Colorado, 600 miles north to the Black Hills of South Dakota. I guess I'm joining the club, detectives. My brother, Grey Cloud, is a Kiowa medicine man. He got pretty upset after someone stole his ceremonial shield and left this behind. He studied it for a while, then took off in a hurry. It's Carmen's calling card, all right. Hey, what's this? It's some kind of note. You'll find what you seek where the seven sisters touched the sky. It's a Carmen clue, all right. But why would she give it to Grey Cloud and not to us? Billy, do you still have that coyote carving Carmen left with your grandmother? No, she took it with her. You think there was a message in it? And I'll bet John Silvermoon got a message inside his carving, too. Billy, let me borrow your phone a sec. You know, my people have a story about a place where seven sisters once touched the sky. How the seven girls get chased up a tree stump by a giant bear. To save them, the Great Spirit made the stump grow and grow until it became Great Tree Rock. And it was so high, the girls were saved from the bear and became the stars of the Big Dipper. Wait a minute. Did you say the Great Tree Rock? That's another name for Devil's Tower. Ivy, John Silvermoon took off after we left. He told his wife he had emergency clan business and he booked an airline ticket to Wyoming. Home of Devil's Tower. It's across the border, only about an hour from here, detectives. You can take my brother's Jeep. What do you want to bet? Carmen stole items from three very different Indian nations to lure their shamans to Devil's Tower. But why am I having nightmares about the raven, coyote, and bear? And why does it always end up with me being chased up to this spot on Devil's Tower? This place, like all the objects that surround us, have their own spirit. And each spirit has its rightful home to which it must always return for there to be the proper balance in the world. I only know the nightmare began since my latest... Wait! <gasps> Are you saying the items I stole before I started having this nightmare, the Elgin marbles, the Rosetta Stone on the headdress, want to be back where they belong? If that's what you believe the dream means, you must act on it. But only you can tell what your dream means. Carmen, my great-grandfather was a wise chief who had much property and many possessions. At his wedding potlatch, it was his great joy to give everything he had away. He said it helped him find a balance as he began making new things for himself. Perhaps there is a balance missing in your life. Game's over, Carmen. No game being played, Billy. This is about real life this time. Glad you agree, Carmen. What? Because life is exactly what you're going to be doing.
grandmother. Why did you let her get away? I made her a promise, Billy. She would meet us and give back the stolen Kachina doll. The rattle. And the shield. If we would not detain her in any way, but talk with her about the symbols in a nightmare she's been having. And because her life is out of balance, it's not a good enough reason for us to go back on our word. I'm sorry. Oh, fine. But what about our balance? We do everything right, catch her, and she gets away. Sis, relax. You gotta learn to be more like Raven. He captured the sun and moon by tricking the great chief. Just like how we'll eventually get Carmen. See? The story is beginning to mean more to you already. And in an astonishing turn of events, Carmen San Diego has actually returned several stolen items, not from where she stole them, but to the lands they originally came from, including the Rosetta Stone to Egypt, the Elgin Marbles back to Greece, and a Native American headdress to its original home in America. Returning stolen items? Have you really turned over a new leaf, Carmen? A little balance is better than no balance, player. But face it, Carmen, you're a thief at heart. And this was only a quick fix for your guilt. Will you be able to sleep after your next theft? There's only one way for us to find out. See you next crime. Thank you.